When you're fishing from a pier, timing is everything. On a boat, you go to where the fish are. On a pier, you wait for the fish to come by. This means you have to know when the tides are, what the weather conditions are like, and check with your local fishing reports. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2017. We're here in Florida trying to catch whatever bites. We've got frozen clams for bait today. Uh, supposedly pompano really like these, so hopefully we can get a pompano. If not, I'm sure everything else likes this. So I'm gonna just cut you some little strips like this so you put on your sabiki. And we're just trying to catch some bait fish right now. It's like mystery fishing. When you throw a sabiki down there, you don't know what you're gonna catch. Fishing is a box of chocolates. Everyone knows we love the sabiki for its convenience and its ability to find fish, but I can't feel them bite. They just keep stealing my bait. I guess I must be really bad at fishing. Everything was eaten. Okay, so what do you think is going on? Why can't we I see it? I have no idea. Maybe a bunch of tiny fish eating it. We took a peek underwater and discovered a whole world of pinfish, porkfish, jacks, and all other species of fish. While there were schools of fish just below us, they didn't seem to be interested in our bait. However, there was a fish in the water that took someone else's bait. Whoa! Okay. Get that on Whoa! Wow! What is that? Now this, we believe, is a blue spotted cornet fish. A strange, long-bodied fish with an upturned snout at the end of a long, tubular mouth. It can't hurt you or nothing, but it's just a really unique fish. Look how small its mouth is. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It, that's its long mouth. It's pretty strange to see a cornet fish here because cornet fish are usually known for hanging around coral reefs and blending in there. Our guess is that it has something to do with the dying coral reefs. I mean, reefs all over the world this year are suffering their fourth year in a row of really bad bleaching due to high water temperatures. We could be wrong. What do you guys think? Comment your best guess as to why this cornet fish is out of his usual habitat. The blue-spotted cornet fish is usually a solitary predator stalking and feeding on small fish, crustaceans, and squid. So we think this guy might have ventured out here looking for a meal. The blue-spotted cornet fish is actually related to the seahorse, and you can kind of tell by the similarity in the shape of their mouths. I think the blue-spotted cornet fish is a notable fish for its long, unusual, slender body shape and its tubular snout, its large red eyes, and its long tail filament that's lined with these sensory pores that can help it detect prey. So tell us if you've ever caught one, or if you've never seen a cornet fish before and this is your first time, comment below and tell us. One of the nice things about pier fishing is the chance to talk to fellow anglers. As opposed to being on a boat with just you and some of your friends, being on a pier allows you to talk to other people who share the same passion that you do. And it's a lot easier to pick up tips from other people who have been doing it, you know, longer than you have. We met two of our friends while we were out there, Mikey and Evan, and they often fish this pier. And they were telling us that the pier isn't really great fishing now, but it is hot in the summer. Uh, right from the sun? black. This, all this blue is not blue. It's black. From bait? Bait. bait. <laughs> all around this whole pier is black. We're going out with Mikey and Evan in our next episode, and we had a blast. If you want to talk to us more often, or if you want to join a group of fishermen who are discussing things online, join our Facebook group, Sanko Skipper Freshwater Fishing. If you don't like freshwater, let us know that you want a saltwater group, and maybe we can work on starting that. We've been having a lot of giveaways, a lot of discussions, a lot of sharing of photos, a lot of sharings of stories, contests. We're having a lot of fun on that page. And if you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, and if you want to communicate with us on a more personal level or more often, go over to our Facebook page, Sanko Skipper Freshwater Fishing, and find us over there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for more.